The Palestinian resistance movement, Hamas, has announced killing, wounding, and capturing a number of Israeli forces, targeting them in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. Abu Obeida, spokesman for Al Qassam Brigades, Hamas's military wing, provided the information in a recording on Sunday. The complex operation, which took place a day earlier, saw the group's fighters luring a Zionist force into an ambush inside a tunnel at the refugee camp that is located inside the city of Jabalia, he said. They, the fighters, were able to clash with the members of this force from close range. And then, our fighters attacked the support force that rushed to aid them with explosive devices and hit it directly, the spokesman noted. Then, the fighters withdrew after blowing up the tunnel, leaving all the members of the force dead, wounded and captured, and they seized its military equipment, he concluded. The comments came amid a genocidal war that the Israeli regime has been waging against Gaza since October 7th. Nearly 36,000 Palestinians, mostly women and children, have died as a result of the brutal military onslaught that began following Al-Aqsa Storm, a retaliatory operation staged by the Coastal Slivers resistance movements. Despite the unabated campaign of bloodshed and destruction, the regime has so far fallen short of realizing its goals. These include defeating Gaza's resistance, enabling liberation of those who were taken captive during Al-Aqsa storm and causing forced displacement of Gaza's entire population to neighboring Egypt.